Well, more world leaders are joining a growing list of people condemning the attack on Islam in Sweden. Pakistan's Prime Minister, Sheikh Bash Sharif, has tweeted the following, saying no words are enough to adequately condemn the abhorrible act of desecration of the Holy Quran by a right-wing extremist in Sweden. The garb of freedom of expression cannot be used to hurt the religious emotions of one and a half billion Muslims across the world. This is unacceptable. Qatar's foreign ministry tweeted, we condemn the Swedish authorities' permission to burn the Holy Quran and call on the international community to shoulder its responsibilities to reject hatred and violence. And the Egyptian Ministry of Foreign Affairs said in a post on Facebook that it was a disgraceful act that provokes the feelings of hundreds of millions of Muslims around the world. And the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia denounced the Swedish authorities for allowing an extremist to burn a copy of the Holy Quran in front of the Turkish embassy. And there's also been reaction from Turkish opposition parties, including the main opposition party, the CHP, whose leader said the inhumane act on the Holy Quran in front of our embassy in Stockholm is unacceptable. Also, the Turkish Jewish community tweeted, this is a hate crime and an act of religious terror. We should all respect each other's beliefs and cultures.